Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, y'all? How are y'all doing? Hey, I just want to come on here and say, have a wonderful, amazing day. It is a great day because you're alive. You're, you got the activities of your limbs. If you're hearing this, you're seeing this, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing excellent. Because somebody laid down last night. They was unable to get up. Um, they just went through something. You know, God protected us and allowed us, his chosen ones, to get up this morning with the activities of our limbs to be able to just be able to say thank you lord for all you've done for me you know sometimes we don't give god enough thanks we don't give him enough praise we don't let him know that lord we're so glad that you saw fit to allow us to see another day and that's just enough to say thank you lord y'all it's hump day it is motherfucking hump day we're gonna hump around hump around hump around and do some things. I just wanted to know, you know, you know, sometimes in life, when you're going through things, you've got to be diligent. You got to stand fast on what you believe in and hold on. You know, sometimes you go through things as a test to become a testimony for someone. And in going through those things, you can't give up. You can't give up. You can't let go. You just got to continue to do what you're doing. And I'm like, yes, girl. You guys are out here. Y'all grinding. Y'all shining. Y'all doing what you got to do so you can get to that next level. And sometimes it does seem like it's hard to get there. And there's a lot of obstacles to get there. But you still got to remain faithful. You got to have that knowledge and knowing that what you're doing is not just for the moment. It is forever. This is something that you're, you're you're stepping out there on faith to make it a forever thing. You know, you got to be able to say, okay, I'm building something so that my kids can have something when I leave here. My kids can say, oh yeah, my moms did this for me and they, they left this behind for me. You see what I'm saying? You can't be out here just out here call yourself doing life and life is passing you by you got to make memories you got to do all these things in life to get somewhere and i'm like man i was thinking about the other day i was like man i was like i'm in this competition and it's it's amazing you know it's amazing when you see people that you recognize that's also in the competition with you. You know, me and my me and my first cousin, we're both in that same cooking competition. And we both was like, what category are we in? Because they don't tell you what category that you're in. They just tell you you're in this place for your category. So I guess if you're in the baking category, you did this. If you're in the cooking category, you did this. You know, I guess there's just a whole, because I personally, I just do it for cooking. I didn't put no baking, nothing in there. So I know I'm on that cooking category. And it's like, wow. Even my mentor, y'all, my mentors, the, 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 the lady that's my mentor, she's in this same challenge. And it's like, wow. I know people that I'm competing with. Like, I know these people. But I'm like, it's okay, because at the end of the day, this is as close as I've gotten. And I'm like, I know I'm gonna make it. God didn't tell me that he was gonna leave me nor forsake me. He allowed me to get in this competition to show me that I have these skills, I have this talent to do and be anything I want to be out here. And I'm like, wow, girl, you got this. You got this. You got this. You know, the Bible tells us and we need to just write the vision and make that vision plain. Because when you write your vision and you make it plain and you start to manifest over that vision, I'm telling you, God going to start hearing them prayers that you're saying over them visions that you have, them dreams. 
nothing's impossible with God. It's not. With God, you can do all things. And when you make your request known unto him, I'm telling you, he brings about a change. He makes those things come into existence. You speak them things into existence that you want. Because in the tongue lies life and death. And so if you want life, you got to speak life. You got to speak life into yourself. You got to sometimes encourage yourself. Because sometimes you have to be that person that is encouraging your own self. You can't rely on other people to be out here trying to encourage you, telling you, girl, you're doing a good job. You're looking good today. Sometimes other people are going through things as well. And you got to be that voice for them. But you got to be that voice of reasoning for yourself to encourage your own self. You got to stop letting blind people proofread your vision. Think about that. You've got to let blind, you got to stop letting blind people proofread your vision. They can't see what you see. You're, they can't see where you're going. And they can't tell you how to get there. It's like the blind leading the blind. They don't know the plan that God has for you. So how can they proofread your vision? Think about that right there. Stop letting blind the blind person proofread your vision. They don't know where you're going with this vision. They don't know the plan that God has for you. So you got to proofread your own vision. You got to write that stuff out. You got to do it step by step by step. Pray over that vision. Manifest that vision into existence. And then when that vision comes true, you got to thank God that he allowed that dream, that vision, whatever it is, to come true. You can't just be out here talking about, I want to do this, but you ain't putting no action behind it. You got to stop waiting for somebody else to give you that motivation to move. And you got to move on your own. That's what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, if you don't write your vision and you don't make it plain and you don't manifest it to the Lord, it ain't going to be so. It is not going to be so. And if you continue to let blind people proofread your vision, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? That vision ain't going to go nowhere. Because they don't know the plans that God has for you. Period. That's all it is, y'all. That is what it is today. That's what I wanted to drop down for you. To let you know that you can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. When you open up the left side of that brain. And write down that vision. And you make it plain. And you manifest these things unto the Almighty. He will make those things come true. Y'all, my belly over here growling. It's over here growling. I'm going to get us some coffee this morning. Because, oh no, it's only Wednesday. And for some reason, we manage to always, always win. Wednesdays is babe's tired day. Fridays, I ain't gonna lie. Fridays is my tired day. I be like, I am so over this shit. I just need to be working for myself. I don't want to get up out this bed to go to work. But God said, I provided for you. Get up and do what you got to do. And I do. I get up and do what I have to do. I'm just sitting here now thinking about, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know how it is. When you see, you start to see the, the, the um, vision coming forth. You start to see the plans, everything that you've been speaking into existence. You start to see those things manifest. And you be like, yes, Lord, I got this. I know I got this because without God, I can't do this. 
It's been a long journey, but guess what? At the end of the day, if there's no work, there'll be no pay. That's what it is, y'all. We tell these kids all the time, if you don't work for what you want, ain't nobody gonna give it to you. And if you have a dream, get out there and get that dream. Manifest that dream into existence. Do what it is that you want to do and let God bless you. That's all I want to tell y'all. Go ahead, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Tell your mama, your daddy, your sisters, your brothers. Tell everybody that you know. It's the Reese and Fanny Empire, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo.